It's time for another installment of Flashpoint. This week, morning anchor Justin Warmoth talks with a local financial advisor on how to budget for 2017. Good morning, I'm Justin Mormuth. 2017 is just days away now and with the new year comes a new budget and setting one can be overwhelming, but with a proper plan, you can maintain control over your finances and spend your money wisely. And joining us today on Flashpoint, we have Dan Davis, a financial expert and CEO of Axiom Bank. Good morning and Good morning, welcome Justin. to Flashpoint. Well, first of all, you know what? Some folks just don't set budgets. Yeah. Why should they and why is it so important to set an annual budget? Okay. The reasons I would do it and the reason I do it is because to reduce financial worries mm -hmm. and stress. And then once you do that, um, you can increase your financial freedom. And, and if you plan out your expenses and plan accordingly, then you'll be less worried about what you're spending. So people know the word budget, but how does it actually work? How should they go about doing this? Okay, it's actually fairly easy. Mm -hmm. You start with just gathering your, your pay stubs, your sources of income, and that could be just your, your first job, your part-time job, mm -hmm. or any social security, and then you gather up your expenses, and then you just compare the two and make sure you come out to zero. Okay, now I will do that but I can't keep up with every Chipotle purchase I make. Right. Is that something that folks should worry about, like the little minute purchases or just the big daddies like rent and things like that? Okay. Well, it depends on what stage of your career you're in. Okay. You're fairly young, so mm -hmm. you're probably not worried about that. But folks like myself who have kids in college mm -hmm. who eat a lot, you know, education expenses and right. food budgets are, are pretty significant. So, um, yeah, food is a major component of anyone's budget, groceries as well as eating out. Mm -hmm. So if you need to trim your budget, sometimes it's eating out less. Okay. Now, a lot of folks make different amounts of money, but what's a reasonable amount that people should look to save yearly? Um, I would say a minimum 4%. Okay. And if their company has a 401k plan or a savings plan, I would strongly encourage them to do it, especially if it has a match. Because if you contribute 4%, your employer may contribute 4% on top of that. So you're really doubling your retirement amount. Okay. Um, is, in your opinion, is it best to do it by yourself or maybe hire someone who's a financial expert? Uh, I would seek out advice, but you don't have to hire anyone. Okay. There's a great website out there, um, DaveRamsey.com. Mm -hmm. Dave is on the radio also, and Dave does a terrific job in, in providing free tools for budgeting. You can do it with a piece of paper and a pencil, or you can do it with Dave's free application from his website. It's funny, I have a Dave Ramsey book yeah. uh, in my bookshelf. I think I need to dust it off. I, I have not read the whole thing, right. um, but I will certainly do that. All right, we're gonna have much more from Dan Davis right after this break. Stay with us on how you can better your Monday in 2017, right after this. Welcome back to Flashpoint. We're talking with Dan Davis. He's a financial expert and CEO of Axiom Bank about budgeting for 2017. It's just around the corner. So Dan, the, first, the hardest thing about planning a budget is knowing where to begin. Yes. So what's the first step? Okay, first step is just gather up your pay stubs and that's your take home pay mm -hmm. and, and summarize all the take home pay that you have. Second step is, is just as simple, just gather up, it's a little more time consuming, gathering up all your expenses. So that could be your credit card statements, that could be your bank account statements, and your, just your monthly bills. And then once you summarize that, then you'll, you'll compare those two, mm -hmm. and, and that's what you'll, you'll aim for. So I think this varies for everyone, but what are some of the things that people spend the most money on? You know, I know that mortgages and rent, but as far yeah. as no. What, what, what do you see? That's a great question. Yeah. Uh, depending on what stage in your life mm -hmm. you're in, um, my kids are in college, so education and grocery bills are really high, and they eat a lot. Mm -hmm. But uh, for other people, it might be housing. Housing is a big expense, your mortgage or your rent payment. Another one is a food bill, and that's just gro that's grocery as well as eating out. Mm -hmm. Those are typically pretty big. And then transportation expenses are very large, too. I mean, you see... You know, the little star. You don't think much of the seven dollars you spend at Starbucks or the ten dollars you spend at Chipotle, but over time that adds up. Especially if you do go to the grocery store before that, it's just something that folks need to be a more conscious about. Absolutely, the nickels and dimes matter yeah. on a budget. So I, w I would, yeah, strongly encourage to set your budget, your food budget, include eating out, and don't go beyond that. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing is to to look at your cell phone charges. Uh, mm -hmm. Typically people aren't using unlimited data plans and they're being overcharged for that too. So there's many ways to save money and, and dial it. 
cable TV and mm -hmm. satellite television is another one where people overpay because they have extra channels they don't use. Right. I would strongly encourage people to look at that and, and look for other sources. Obviously keep your CBS affiliate News 6 uh, if you do decide <laughs> to do that. Um, what are some of the little expenses? We just talked about that, the food, the little things like that. Anything else that sticks out to you about little things that add up over time? Uh, yes, interest charges on debt. Mm. Avoid debt at all costs. Um, uh, whether it's a car loan, a home loan is fine because you're building equity in something, but avoid debt, credit card debt as well, because you're paying high interest charges on that, and that really adds up. Those are significant. This is interesting. Um, are there any expenses that people may just forget about that obviously add up over time? You just mentioned the, the interest, but anything else? The, the interest, um, the, uh, we, t we talked about uh, the cable television, right. those those charges, mostly those items. They just forget about you know, hey, this is just a hundred bucks that comes out of my account. But you know, th if you don't need it, then obviously if you can save eighty dollars. Yeah, a month. here's here's another one. This this is not an easy exercise, but Annie, look at your insurance, mm -hmm. your auto insurance. Yeah. What are your what are you paying on your auto insurance? Have you shopped it out because the auto insurers are very aggressive on premium pricing. So there's a, one that you could have a lot of savings on. It's a good point. I feel like mine is certainly a little too high. Yeah. Um, how should people plan for maybe unexpected um, expenses that could happen, you know, at the drop of a hat? That, that's terrific. Like any, any company would, you have to reserve for those. Mm -hmm. So when you build your budget, you have your income and you have your expenses, but also, and that's a, an oversight, uh, build in a reserve for those type of expenses, whether it's holiday gifts or unexpected auto repairs or unexpected home repairs. What are some of the common mistakes people make as they go about their everyday life and also when they are making a budget? Uh, the co most common mistake is not sticking to your plan. Mm. The budget, it will help reduce your financial worries and, and create financial freedom, but you have to stick to it and look at it every month and manage it. So it's best to get someone else involved too to keep you to it, Right. whether it's your spouse or your significant mm -hmm. other. Everyone says, uh, new year, new me, when it's the new year's resolutions. Um, so stick to it if yeah. you can. Uh, what about monthly budgeting? You know, we talk about, we're talking about the annual. It, how effective is that? It can be very effective. Mm -hmm. and, and there's something that's called the uh, envelope approach. Uh, if you have a specific budgeted item that's very important, it's more discretionary, meaning that it, you, need, you don't necessarily need it. Mm -hmm. One might be going out to dinner. You might have an envelope and you might put cash in an envelope for going out to dinner every month. So once you get to the end of that envelope, if you have no more money, don't go out to dinner. I've heard of that. In fact, one person I know does that, um, but when they go to Vegas. So they don't spend extra money. They have, you know, Monday, here's what I'm spending, Tuesday, but it can go the same way. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, we talked about Dave Ramsey before. Yeah. Um, he has books, uh, he has the audio tape, he has radio, everything yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, is that where you think that folks can get the most information or can they seek that other things if they may want to go a different approach? That, that, that's a terrific place to start. Okay. Dave's website is very easy to navigate. He has a free budgeting tool mm -hmm. and he also has budgeting tips and it's all outlined in a, in a user, uh, user friendly way. Mm -hmm. So bottom line, if you're about to make your budget, 2017, just a few weeks away, the first thing you need to do if they just missed our earlier uh, portion of this should be what? First thing to do is um, gather up your pay stubs. Okay all your expenses mm -hmm. and compare the two and, and start a financial plan with, with hopefully your spouse or significant mm -hmm. other. So the hefty amounts first and then you can go to the trickle down, right. okay, this is what I can spend on for groceries, this is what I can spend on for gas and things like that. Right, and it's important not only to know your expenses but also try to reduce debt mm -hmm. and then when, when you look at your budget, it, often people don't think about this because when they think about budget they think about expenses, is look at other ways to make more money whether it's a better job or a higher paying job or a second job. Okay. Well, Dan Davis, thank you so much sure. for joining us this morning. 2017, can you believe it? Just a few weeks away. This is a very important topic. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll have more news and weather in just a few minutes. Keep it right here.